Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Schofield Welding. I'm Jake, if any of you don't know who I am. Uh, I'm a rig welder, been a rig welder for seven years, fabricator, pipeliner. I love doing what I do, all right? So tonight, I'm going to show you guys how to find a 45 degree offset, all right? How to find your run in a piece of pipe. Now, one of the things you guys have got to pay attention to, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not a math teacher by any means, but this is how I learned and this is how I do it, all right? Everything is a triangle in 45 degrees. So what we're trying to find is this piece right here, the, uh, the run is what I've always called it. I'm not quite sure, I'm sure I'll get corrected on it, but I've always just called it the run. All right, now, the number you need to remember the most of is 1.414, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the elevation. Later on, I'm gonna show you how to find elevations. But for right now, we're just gonna deal with really simple numbers on how to find this run. So we're gonna go right here. Now we're gonna do it with about eight different, well, we'll do it with three different numbers. I'll show you how to do it with three different numbers, all right? We're gonna do, say say your elevation right here was nine inches, okay? So you found center to center on your pipe. You found, so let me draw that out really quick. So here's a flange, all right? Terrible flange, whatever, don't care. But, I'm trying to make sure that you guys can even see what I'm doing here. Okay, now what you guys found is that from center of this to center of this is nine inches. Now what you've got to find is this run and how you're gonna tie into that, all right? How you're gonna connect these two flanges. Later on, right now, we're not gonna do the takeoffs because you gotta take off two 45s, two flanges, and I'll show you guys how to do that later on, but as of right now, we're just finding the run of this. So right now we're nine inches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go nine inches times by 1.414. Now a calculator is extremely handy when you come into this. So you're gonna go nine inches times by 1.414 equals. So we know right there that on a 45 degree uh, off, it's, yeah, offset, a 45 degree offset, we know that it's 12 and 3 quarter inches. So this piece to this piece, 12 and 3 quarter inches. All right. Later on, you're going to, later on when we go farther into these offsets, which I think probably the next one I do, I'll show you guys how to do takeoffs. But as of right now, we know that that run, if we stuck a piece of pipe in there, that this right here is 12 and 3 quarter inches, all right? Now we're gonna do it with another number. It's the same thing. This could be, uh, say it's 19 and 7 eighths inches, all right? All you're gonna do is go 19 inch, 7 eighths, times by 1.414 equals. Now we have a 28 and an eighth inch pup, which in feet is two foot, four and an eighth inch pup. So, well, let, let me write that one out right there. Nine times 1.414 is 12 and three quarter inches. Now we're gonna go 19, seven eighths inches, which is gonna be center of pipe to center of pipe, elevation wise, all right? This is just your elevation. All you're trying to do is find a, find a triangle, basically, coming from your center to center. And then we're gonna times it by 1.414, which is gonna give you the run, and then later on we are gonna do the takeoffs and the flanges and everything else. I have, actually I don't. I finished the last one today. So I don't have another one to show you, but I will get one set up and I will show you how, how it works. So we're 19 7 8 inches times by 1.414 equals a two foot pup, two foot four and an eighth inch pup. Okay, so those are our pups. Now depending on what size pipe you're gonna run, all right, 
there's going to be different takeoffs for the 45s. I think everybody should know that. If you do not have the Pipe Fitters Blue Book by W.V. Graves, you guys really need to get one, all right? These things are going to tell you your takeoffs. Now, there's a simple way to do a 45 degree takeoff. If you have a four inch, uh, let, let me go ahead and erase this. Hopefully this all made sense, you guys. You guys got to remember 1.414 when you're running 45 degrees. So, there is a super simple take uh, way to find a 45 degree fitting. Say you have a four inch fitting. Take that four inches, divide it in half. You got two, all right? Divide the two in half, you have one. Divide the one in half, you have a half inch. Okay? So, on a, 40, on a four inch, 45 degree offset, the, off, the takeoff is two and one half inches. Now we can look that up in the blue book as well, which it's gonna be on page It's going to be on page 95. So a four inch takeoff is two and a half inches. You can look that same stuff up in this book. But that's a super simple way to figure out how to do takeoff. You can, uh, you can do the same thing with about any fitting. You can use a 12 inch fitting, half of that six, three, one and a half. You take the second and last number or the third. So if we're going from top to bottom, it's going to be the second and last number. So we're six, six, and so six, seven, and seven and a half inch takeoff. All right. Let's look it up. Let's make sure we're 100 percent right. Boom, six inch or 12 inch. Woo! I was like, whoa, wait, guys, that's wrong. Seven and a half inch takeoff. It's right. Super simple way to find your takeoffs, but we're going to go into that later on. Right now, just remember 1.414. It's going to help you find the run of your pipe. And then later on, we're going to add our flanges, our 45 fittings, and, uh, and then we're going to find the pup that goes in the middle to where when you cut it, everything equals out to the right distance. All right, so everything's tying in right where it needs to be. Everybody be blessed. Like, subscribe, comment. Hopefully this all made sense. I got a little scatterbrain through about half of it, but it all makes sense to me. But I'm trying to get it out for you guys so that you guys can catch on to what I'm doing. We'll do a lot more of these. I'm just hoping that that made enough sense that you guys were able to catch on. Everybody be blessed. We'll talk to you later. See ya.